One of the purposes of the Department of Justice is to ensure fair and impartial administration of justice for all. Since getting into office, the Trump administration has done the exact opposite. In less than a year, they have limited federal civil rights enforcement and effectively rolled back numerous of Obama-era protections for trans folks, young folks, people of color, Native Americans, the list goes on. This time, the DOJ has decided to roll back the Obama-era efforts prompted by the instances of police brutality that were seen during his time in office to investigate local police departments to help them identify their failings and to publicize them. These changes are coming to the Office of Community-Oriented Policing Services, which has existed since 1994 with the original purpose of offering grants and training to improve community policing. Under the Obama administration, this program took an added responsibility of investigating police departments, providing them with an opportunity to identify their shortcomings and take steps to reform them. As of September, the DOJ has redirected the priorities of the COPS office to focus on technical assistance to police, outlining 14 assistance areas that include improving officer wellness, policing mass demonstrations, and reducing gang violence. What failed to make the list? Police use of force. They basically shifted the priority from the people to the police. On August 28th, Jeff Sessions, the Attorney General of the United States and head of the Department of Justice, announced a decision to reverse an Obama-era directive that restricted police departments from receiving surplus military gear. These changes are a clear indication that Sessions isn't worried about keeping communities safe. He's worried about keeping the police safe. From you. But don't fret y'all, all hope is not lost in the effort to hold police accountable. Just because the federal government isn't enforcing our civil rights does not mean that our local governments can't. The Department of Justice may not have our back in efforts to reform local police, but we still can. Here are some steps that you can take in your community to take action on police reform. First, find out what the current problems are in your police department. Is it excessive use of force? racial profiling, lack of accountability. Finding this information will be difficult. It's meant to be. However, one place to look is our courts. Lawsuits brought against your police department are public record. Second, track the legislation in your city and state. The Black Lives Matter campaign, Zero, has an interactive legislative map that allows you to track legislation to reduce police violence. You can click on your state to see the names of the bills, their status, and contents. And lastly, all the people in charge of reforming your police department are elected officials. They should report to you. Contact your mayor, sheriff, district attorney, governor, and city council and ask them to take action on police reform. If you have local elections coming up, let them know that you and your community will not vote for officials that do not support police reform. The DOJ can try to dismantle all of the Obama era civil rights protections, but at the end of the day, we have more power within our own communities to organize, mobilize, and to create change, y'all.